What's up, YouTube peeps? Neon here. And, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video like this. Uh, I'm doing a Fox video today. The topic is, the topic for today is moody lighting, good or bad. Alright, I'm going to use a good example and a bad one. A good example... Let's say the original Alone in, Alone in the Dark, circa 1992, which was arguably the first survival horror game, I n at least that I know of. It, ha it had a focus on exploration, puzzle solving, and moody lighting. It had a focus on exploration and puzzle solving. But uh, and this and these two things were blended with moody lighting beautifully. It also featured nonlinear exploration and pu and limited inventory space. You could swap uh, plot crucial items, but they always remained where they were, where you dropped them at. That's that's back to what I was saying. That's what those topics are: the nonlinear exploration and and uh, limited inventory space are topics for another day. But. Now, this is going to be very controversial, but my pick for a bad example is Haunted Memories. Don't know what that is, please look. Uh, I played this a little over six months ago. It... <laughs> Alright, I cranked my brightness up to full blast. And I ran into a tree like three or four times. Uh, maybe it's just my computer was crappy and that is what caused my bad experience, but it's a real world problem. You, you can't stop some, there's nothing you can do about a cra some crappy PC. You could make the argument that it's supposed to be. You could make the argument could be made that it's supposed to be dark and you're supposed to not know where you're at, where everything is. Well, yes, it's how it's supposed to be made. Yes, that is how it's supposed to be made. But that's. I don't think that's very. I an ideal, cir un, that's a ideal circumstance. So my experience was pretty bad. <laughs> the lighting, butchering, how it was, and otherwise very well constructed survival horror game. I ha I actually managed to have some scary moment. Uh, what's going on? Roll with it. Uh, I managed to have some pretty s chilling experiences, <laughs> in spite of the lighting issues and the bugs. But other all in all, it was a fairly decent. It was, eh. It was half and half. Most, some of the time, I wanted to kill myself. The other half, oh, um, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so scary. And 
don't think it's time for the speech. Just, that's just my opinion on the topic, though. My personal opinion is movie lighting, if done right, is very good. If done wrong, it's just obnoxious. There's no, there's nothing wrong with some some darkened rooms, but when the game is dark, dark so dark you can barely see five feet in front of you, the entire ex game. Now you could say, oh, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, and that you'd be correct, but at a certain point, it's obnoxious. Hope you guys enjoyed.